I'm Bruno Marg. I'm the founder and chairman of Dalton Marg. We're a font design studio based in London, in South London, in Brixton, and we deal mostly with corporate typefaces. Some of the work we have done is new fonts for uh, the Amazon Kindle, you know, Brooklyn. Uh, we've also worked with Intel and HP, and uh, most recently we've just released a font uh, with the BBC, which is now up on the BBC Sport and BBC Fonts. Graphic designers, I think, have the biggest challenge with the speed by which things are changing. The traditional means of communication via book printing, etc., or news, newsprint, they're simply gone. And these were relatively slow ways of communicating. Today, we have a world where technology changes every, every 18 months, and the way we consume information changes every, every 18 months as well. And I have a feeling that a lot of graphic designers can't catch up quick enough. I also think one of the challenges we're facing is that we're not communicating enough with other disciplines such as engineering, such as medicine or science. I really actually wonder whether graphic design is crossing borders because what I'm seeing in the work is that quite often it has very much of a national or regional identity what people are producing and that's of course culturally influenced. Um, a lot of graphic designers I'm speaking to, for example, and this is very much in my world of typography, they're thinking in the Latin alphabet when the reality is there's altogether 36 different writing systems on the planet of which the Latin alphabet is one. Admittedly, the most used one, but all the other people have different ways of writing and that also affects the way you think and that affects your visual culture and quite often identity is also connected to that visual culture, to the way you read. Um, I think graphic designers, or generally, and then include myself in that, have a tendency to be scared of other disciplines such as science, such as engineering. and. Uh, I don't quite know where that stems from and I haven't really got an answer to that and I personally am trying actively to change that. I have started, for example, uh, studying and researching uh, uh, neuroscience, you know, how we read in the brain, for example, and that has already affected the way I design. I think uh, graphic design can be an extremely good tool for empowerment. As a graphic designer, I have the means to help someone understand information much better. Uh, I can also, of course, create exactly the reverse, and we see that quite often, say, in contracts, you know, where you have type that is really, really small, uh, information that is actually very difficult to access, and that's, of course, being done deliberately, so as to confuse the consumer of that information. And as graphic designers, you know, we're not artists, we work for a client and we do that, you know, and getting paid for it. Whether that is a good idea or not is, of course, debatable. I would suggest, you know, we as graphic designers should actually strive to make sure that information processing can be done easily for everyone, whatever your educational level, whatever your age, whatever your, your ethnic background, etc. So we have actually tremendous tools at our disposal, but I think sometimes we're getting a little bit too wrapped up in ourselves and our need for artistic expression when we really should focus on the very pragmatic functions of graphic design.